One herb has been shown to lower cortisol up to 30%, boost testosterone up to 40%, and improve sleep. However, most people use it inaccurately, so let's fix that. Hi, my name is Dr. Ariane Missimer. I'm a functional medicine practitioner, doctor of physical therapy, registered dietitian, and owner of the Movement Paradigm Integrative Health Center. So what exactly is it? Ashwagandha, or Withania somnifera, has been used for over 3,000 years in Ayurvedic medicine. It's an adaptogen, meaning it helps your body to adapt to stress, whether that's physical, mental, or chemical. Today, research links it to reduced anxiety, better sleep, higher energy, and in men, it can even boost testosterone. So why it works? The HPA axis, the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, is your stress response command center. Cortisol is essential for survival, but chronic stress stress can keep it high, throwing off sleep, immunity, and hormones. In one clinical trial, adults with chronic stress taking 300 milligrams a day of KSM 66 ashwagandha for 60 days had a 27.9 average drop in serum cortisol compared to placebo. So ultimately, it helps to buffer the HPA axis, slowing down overactive brain signals that tell your adrenals to pump cortisol. It also can bind to GABA receptors, calming the nervous system so that your body can stop perceiving danger. And it has antioxidant effects, which reduce oxidative stress in the brain and the adrenal glands, ultimately turning down the alarm bells that keep cortisol elevated. So now let's get into ashwagandha and testosterone. So high cortisol, as we know, suppresses testosterone. So by lowering cortisol, ashwagandha can help restore production. In a 2019 randomized control trial, infertile men supplementing with ashwagandha for 90 days saw up to a 17% higher testosterone and 53% increase in semen volume and improved sperm motility. A strength training study found that healthy men taking 600 milligrams a day for eight weeks had a 15% higher testosterone and significantly greater gains in muscle size and strength compared to placebo. So how do you use it? The recommended dose is between 300 to 600 milligrams per day of a standardized root extract like KSM 66 or sarin silk. Morning dosing may support testosterone evening may help more with stress and sleep. I like divided doses with ashwagandha. Most studies run eight to 12 weeks. Many people use it cyclically, so two months or three months on and then one month off. Who should avoid it? You should definitely avoid it during pregnancy. It can stimulate uterine contractions. You do want to be cautious with autoimmune diseases, hyperthyroidism, or if you're on sedatives, SSRIs, or thyroid medications because it can influence the bioavailability of your thyroid medication. If you want more videos like this on how to optimize your nervous system, check out this next video.